A wonderful good afternoon. Hi, this is Guido Brackelsberg. I'm the MD and co-founder of Setlock, and also I'm a board member of Dialog Flexible Clido. We're doing this entirely in English to get as many English-speaking listeners as well on the call. Today, it's super cool. We're broadcasting live, you know, from the uh, Global Apparel Sourcing Expo, and I'm welcoming Jonas Wand and uh, Gordika Vessel from Source, and we'll come to you in a minute. So uh, why don't you quickly introduce yourself? You know, thank you. It's a pleasure being here. I'm Gordike Wessel, co-founder of Foresource. Um, Jonas and I, together with some fellows, for, um, founded Foresource four years ago uh, as, a, as a sourcing platform for the textile industry. And glad, glad to be here. Thank you. Yeah, uh, pleasure to to be in this uh, fact interview, um, especially today because it's really an amazing day because today our Global Pearl Sourcing Expo is live. Um, my name is Jonas. Um, I'm responsible for sales and marketing at Foresource, um, also co-founder. Um, yeah, and it's a pleasure uh, to being with you in, on the call, Guido. Absolutely. This is episode number 10. You know, this is what <laughs> I didn't say. So we're broadcasting live for the first time. Really awesome. And um I do have to say, uh, I mean, kudos to you guys for really, you know, pulling this one up. So, um, so you just launched today uh, the digital trade show, which is called the Global Apparel Sourcing Expo, together with the IIF. Tell us, what is it exactly? Well, um, the IIF um, approached us as, you know, the IIF is the roof organization of mm -hmm. uh, all the global apparel uh, export associations that are out there. So it's... Um, tens of, of um, or thousands of, of associations. And uh, due to uh, Corona and, and um, all the travel stops, travel bans, and uh, the cancellations of all the trade shows worldwide, uh, the IF got approached by the member associations to do something and to enable the member associations and the members of the member associations um, to promote their businesses and to, to enable them to reach out to buyers in these difficult days. So they approached us and asked, hey, can't we do something uh, together? Can't we launch a trade show? And that was fitting perfectly to what we were developing at that time and what we already had uh, in, uh, already prepared. So it's basically a trade show um, hosted and developed by the International Apparel Federation for the member countries and for the member associations together with Sourcing Journal as co-host and media partner and powered by Foresource, so we are the technology provider behind and we we run the entire party here. It's, and if I can add to this, Jonas, thank you. Um, this whole venue will be accompanied by a big global conference, so over the four weeks of the straight show, there will be also every week an attractive conference program, which of, of course has two facts, uh, two, two things behind. The first thing behind is of course to to make the whole venue also attractive content-wise for people to join in, to visit the venue, to, to also move between different topics like, like learning, exchanging, seeing like the latest updates of things and also seeing like about curated companies that currently have capacities, learn about where the countries are in these times. And this is quite an attractive program in itself as well. So there is four weeks every week with another core topic, which is more of the industry mega trends at the moment. We have the uh, a big topic this week about corporate social responsibility and sustainability, where uh, general secretaries, presidents and managing directors of, of, of probably some of the largest and most important organizations in this field give an update like Amphori, Ökotex, Fairware, Textile Exchange, GOTS, uh, to name just a few of these. We have in the second week um, a topic about um, the general trends in global sourcing, so uh, updates about trade statistics, how does COVID impact all these kind of things, mm -hmm. and where are the countries currently with their strengths and weaknesses, where do they come back, what kind of opportunities are out there at the moment in the market. And we have some interesting speakers from the International Apparel Federation, of course, as the host of this venue, but also from the International um, Textile Manufacturers Federation of the United States Fashion Industry Association uh, and a lot of country associations, which will give an update. Uh, in the third week, there is also a big thing like uh, about uh, the, the over topic of 3D product development. Where are we and what does it take to make this really a global standard? And we have exciting speakers from Assist, 
from Viso, from Mango, who are just implementing this this, this venue, uh, from Bay City, who are lead user and, and probably one of the first companies uh, in, in Germany going into this field. And in the fourth week, which is super exciting actually, it's about industry innovation where companies present digital solutions that really can break this industry forward. I think it's, you know, I, I think it's so valuable what you guys do. I mean, we had, you know, Matthias Kite of the IIF, um, I think five weeks ago, episode number five. And um, especially now, you know, and, you know, in times, you know, when we cannot travel and, and as he said, you know, he said, you know, supply chain solidarity, that's very important. And we've all read this in the papers that, you know, large, you know, brands pull their orders and, you know, putting really the, some of the supplier base into big problems. So I think it's so valuable that you actually offer this platform technology wise so people can get together. I think that's very important right now. So when we talk about it, so um, well, how, do, how does the, how does the uh, digital trade show, the four source trade show work? And what is actually the difference to your platform that you provide, the four source mm -hmm. platform? Yeah, let me answer the first part of the question and Godeke, you, you might be willing to answer the second part. So how does the uh, digital trade show solution work with Forsost? Um, it's uh, pretty simple. Um, the basis for the exhibitors um, is, is, is their uh, Forsost profile and their Forsost membership. Mm -hmm. um, so you need to be a, a pro member in Forsost um, to participate in a, in a trade show. Um, so the pro membership gives you all the tools that you need to set up your digital booth um, at a trade show. So what is your booth about? So the booth, uh, which we anyhow had as a profile, contains all the information that professional buyers, B2B buyers in this industry need. Uh, so they need to know about uh, manufacturers. So it's not only a short text and in the logo of mm -hmm. a company and maybe some pictures, but it's also the certification yeah. that we verify um, with direct APIs that we have to um, the certification um, bodies and associations. Um, so we are able to also prove which information is correct and not correct. For example, when we talk about Ecotex, we can directly access the database of Ecotex and can say, okay, this exhibitor here, the show is showing an Ecotex certificate that really exists because we are able to proof check uh, that digitally. Um, so once um, a manufacturer has up signed up to Forsource, has created his profile, he can basically say, okay, I now want to participate in this trade show. So that's a little add-on that he has to, put to purchase. So basically with the IF says, okay, I want to participate in this trade show. Then he sets everything up and the profile will be shown to buyers. And here comes the difference. So it's not only um, visible inside of the Forsource application. So not only when you're logged in as a buyer, which is you know, Forsos is kind of a closed club, so we say only uh, verified buyers have access to Forsos. Uh, we are able to show the entire trade show participants and exhibitors also outside of Forsos, which is very important. Um, and outside of Forsos, um, we provide the tools to the exhibitors that they can manage with it, which information they want to make public and which information they don't want to make public. And then basically, the functionalities that are known from four source, meaning searching, um, filtering, uh, matchmaking, this is all given in the trade show solution as well. Yeah, thank you, Jonas. And I think when when we compare like what is the four source platform about compared to the trade show, I mean the common things is we are experts in matchmaking. Since say, four years, we only make matchmaking. So we try to get mm -hmm. the right people together into business. And this advantage we carry now into a curated approach, what a trade show by definition is. And we do this very much on traffic optimization that these kind of companies get as many business connections as possible. So there's no registration test in this venue. It is totally open. It is super attractive and targeted in the marketing to the right audience of this industry uh, worldwide. Uh, to the most different kind of buyers, to the most different kind of, of, of people who are relevant for these kinds of exhibitors. When we go inside Forsource, Forsource is more than just pure matchmaking alone. I mean, we're a platform now that knows about 50,000 companies um, that has about um, 16 to 17 percent of the world production uh, with an account inside and with, with uh, five digit numbers of buyers from all over the world. And when we look in the four source platform, and this is not only the venue that we are now talking about inside the four source platform, 
we have basically something that is a truly global global solution for buyers that come a quarter from US and Canada, about uh, a quarter from UK, a quarter from European Union, a quarter from rest of the world. And we see what what for for manufacturers, of course, this is some kind of a marketing and sales tool, sales solution, mm. um, professional sales tool. But also for buyers, it is much more than just finding new manufacturers. It is more like a supply side CRM where they can manage and digitalize their their uh, scouting processes, a verification from company information, onboarding. On digitalization of reports and notes and 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 visit reports and these kinds of things. There are tools for price ma uh, management and and quotes, um, and uh, uh, yeah. So and and two more fields like like when when you think about how do I manage corporate so tracking tools uh, inside there, which are pretty unique worldwide. So there's there's a lot of more than just just a trade show, which is an exciting venue in itself. And I think it's it, again, it's, it's really amazing what you've um, you know uh, you know already achieved. Uh, but I'll see you know this you know what's coming out of it. So many people get much more easier. I think. To, to using digital tools, you know, to connecting, you know, with people and, you know, to doing business digitally, it will really help. So having said that, what's next? So we are currently working on three key priorities. Priority number one is verticalizing more our our supplier scope. So at the moment, there are apparel manufacturers which take responsibility for the final product for a buyer. Uh, we are extending this now from September to fabric manufacturers, which gives us more scope also uh, for all kinds of parties on the platform, but also for the digital trade show part. The second priority we are working on is, of course, extending this then when time is ready to needs which are linked with 3D product development. Um, my view, there are still some some standards missing in the market, but this should be a matter of time. And uh, I think there's there's a lot of puzzle pieces missing still in this landscape, how to make 3D product development really successful. We aim to close these gaps. Mm -hmm. uh, now, priority number three is really in the field of corporate social responsibility, sustainability. In this field today, there's a lot of discussion about a supply chain act in Germany that Germany wants to carry with the European Commission. Uh, leadership uh, to the European level, like France already is having it. And um, there's a lot of discussion about these kinds of acts like, uh, right now, which make this whole management processes of corporate social responsibility even more complex than today. You need to secure your information and your supply chain and the information you, you, you document for that much more. And we will be working with our investors on solutions in this field. Super, very amazing. So you have a lot on your board that you want to execute. So thanks very much. So enjoy a good start to the trade show. And um, yep. I'll say we see each other next week, dear community. And to the two of you, thank you very much for being with us. I really enjoyed it. And to the rest of you, bye-bye. Have a great day and enjoy the show. Click in. All right, bye-bye. Take care, bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you.